Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this placemat. Now it's made with the jasmine stitch or the puff star stitch. I call it that sometimes. Um, this stitch is a consumer, as I mean it consumes your time and it consumes quite a bit of yarn. But it is so pretty and it's well worth it. This is a very nice thick placemat and it would make a if you made a set of four or whatever it would make a wonderful gift I would love to receive the gift gift of these because they're thick they're nice it's made with cotton so it's going to be uh, nice and waterproof you know if you got a set of drink or something on it it's going to be really durable I mean I think they turned out very nice they're really pretty so I'll just go ahead and get started on it for this project, I am using Peaches and Cream, which is a medium weight, four ply, 100% cotton yarn. Um, the color I'm using is mint, but you can use any color that you want. And there are 120 yards in this skein, and it took me two and a little bit more of another one. So, just a little bit more. So, I'm going to say it's you're going to need, of your main color, about 250 yards per placemat. Like I said, it takes a lot of yarn to make it. And then you're gonna need probably another 25 yards or whatever for the edging. And I just used regular white, same brand, just white around the edges. But you can use any color and you don't even have to do any edging on it, but that's completely up to you. But remember, 250 yards per placemat. So it took me two and a little bit more of another one to make one mat. And then I am using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Now I'm gonna to try to teach you this stitch the best that I can. And it's not a hard stitch. Like I said, it's just a little time consuming. You wanna start with a slip knot on your hook. <clears throat> and then we're gonna work a chain of two. One, two. Now we're gonna work a puff stitch back into that first chain. Now this is how we're gonna do our puffs. We're gonna yarn over, go into that first stitch, and drop a loop. And we wanna do that four times. So that was one, two, three, It's kind of tight to get into that first stitch, but. And there's four. Now you should have nine loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops on your hook. Now this is probably the tri tricky part of it. You wanna put your finger right here so this string does not pull all the way through whenever you pull through your loops. So put your finger there yarn over and grab that and go through all the loops like that and then take your hook and put it through that loop that's on your finger and let go and then you want to pull it nice and tight like that and then you go through that one loop like that and then you single crochet through those two and that's your first of the bottom row of puffs now you want to do you can do this stitch and you can make it for anything you want to make. There's no certain multiples of puffs. You can make as many puffs as you want. Now for the pot holder that I'm doing, I'm doing going to do a base chain of 18 puffs. So I'm going to pull up a little bit and now I'm going to be working through this single crochet that we just did. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do my puff through that space. So that's one. two, three, and four. Nine loops on my hook. Put my finger there, grab this, and pull through all nine loops. And with this loop still on my hook, go through that loop that my finger was holding, and then pull it tight and then grab your yarn and go through that first loop and then do a single crochet 
through these two loops or grab your yarn and go through those two loops. So that's puff number two. Again, I'm going to pull up a little bit and I'm going to do a puff through the single crochet here. So I'm going to yarn over and go through. There's once. Two times. Three times. Four times. Nine loops on my hook. Put my finger here. Grab this. Go through all the loops. With this still loop still on my hook, go through the loop that's on my finger like that. Now pull tight like that. And then you grab this yarn back here, pull it through that first loop, and then yarn over and go through both loops like that. So there's three puffs for our base chain. Again, I'm going to pull up, yarn over, go into that single or that single crochet there, and do your puff. That's once, twice, three times, and four. Nine loops on my hook. Put my finger here. Grab my yarn, go through all the loops, leave this yarn on my hook, go through that loop that my finger has grabbed, pull it tight, and then I'm going to take, grab this yarn and pull it through that first loop, and then I'm going to yarn over and go through both the loops on my hook. There's four stitches for my base chain. Again. I'm going to pull up and go through that single crochet and do a puff. So now one, two, three, four, put my finger right there, grab that yarn, pull it through, and then go with this yarn still on my hook, go through that one that my finger was holding pull tight, grab this yarn with my hook and pull it through that first loop, and then grab it and go through both loops on my hook. There's five for my base chain. And like I said, you can do, you can make a blanket out of this if you had the time and all the yarn. You can just make these puffs for as long as you want whatever project you're making to be. Now remember, we're going to do 18 of these for my placemat. Finger goes right there. Grab my arm, pull it through. Go through that loop that my finger was holding. Pull tight. Grab my yarn, go through that first loop, and yarn over, and go through both loops, like that. Okay, again. Like that. There's seven loops already. Remember, you need to do 18. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to make one more puff and then I'll start the second row. But you need to make 18 if you're following along with me. Just like that. Okay, now once you get your 18 puffs done, remember I'm going to do mine smaller because I already got my pot holder done 
for the tutorial. What you're going to do is, now this, this is where it starts to get a little bit trickier. It's not hard, it just takes practice. So what you want to do is, we're going to do a puff right here into this very first puff. The very first single crochet. Kind of like we're just adding another puff to the row. So, do your puff. And now we're not going to yarn over and go through it right now. We're going to go to the next single crochet between the next two puffs and do another puff with all these loops on our hook. So we yarn over and go through those spaces, right through that space, and do another puff. So that's one, two, three, four. We're not going to yarn over again. We're going to do one more puff into this next space between the next two puffs. One, two, three, and four. Now you should have a total of one, two, three, Twenty-five loops on your hook. Now what you want to do is, we're going to do what we did before. We're going to put our finger there, grab our yarn, and go through all the loops that are on our hook. But we need to hold that yarn there, just like we were doing before. So go through all the loops like that. And that takes some practice to go through. Cotton is not as easy to go through that many loops as acrylic is. But once you get some practice down, you'll be able to do it really quick. And then you, with this loop still on your hook, you go through that loop right there. Now this is the most important part. You wanna make sure when you're doing the three puffs on your stitch, you pull it as tight as you can. Because if you don't get it tight, you're gonna have holes in the middle of your stars and you don't want that, trust me. It just don't look appealing. So you just go we just do what we did before. I didn't even show you. Once you get it pulled really tight, as tight as you can. It's very important. Yarn over and go through that first loop, just like we did before. And then yarn over and go through those two loops. Just like that. Now we're going to do that again. And we're going to work in this loop. Or this hole this hole and then the net 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 then that next hole so we're going to pull up our yarn a little bit and do a puff into the very first hole there like that and then we're going to go right down here to this next spot we went through it before we're going to go through it again do a puff, and then this next one right here that we have not went through yet. Okay, once you got all those loops, 25 total, put your finger there again to hold that yarn. Grab and go through all the loops like that. And then go through this loop that your finger is holding. Very important, pull it as tight as you can get it. 
this is why it's time consuming because you gotta stop and make sure it's tight and you just don't you just want to make sure that it's tight now we're going to go through that first loop yarn over through that first loop and then yarn over and go through the next two loops and that's your next one I got a little hanger there but that won't be seen now we're going to do it again and we're going to go through the same the first one this next one down here that we already went through and then this one right here that we haven't gone through so pull up a little bit and do your first puff Go down and go into this spot right here that we went through last time. And do a puff. And then we go through this one right here that we have not went through yet. That. finger there grab your yarn go through all the loops like that this is this loop still on your hook go ahead and put your hook through that loop that your finger was holding pull it as tight as you can get it like that grab that yarn and go through that first loop and then yarn over and go through both loops this is the most important part is to make sure you pull it tight right there because if you don't like I said, you're going to have holes in your stars, and it's you don't want that, trust me. You want them to be nice and tight together, or as tight as you can get them together. Okay, pull up. We do it again. We work right here in this first loop, or first hole opening. Do a puff. And then this next one down here that we worked in last round. And then the next one that we have not worked in yet. Okay, finger there. Grab that yarn. Go through all the loops like that. Go ahead and go through that. Grab that loop that your finger was holding. Pull this tight as you can get it very important grab your yarn and go through that first loop and then yarn over and go through both of the loops like that and you can see it's starting to form these are the eyes of the stars so we're going to do it again pull up a little bit we're going to do it until we get to the end of the row so we pull up a little bit go through the first Puff through that first opening. And it'll get easier if you just keep keep practicing. If you've never done this stitch before, it just takes practice, that's all. And then it's not it's not hard at all. And then our next spot is the stitch down here that we went through in our previous round. Our previous row. And then we go into the next one that we have not went into yet. Put your finger here, grab it, go through all the loops like that. Go through that one that your finger was holding, pull it really tight. Grab your yarn again, go through that first loop on your hook. And then yarn over and go through those two. And then we're going to do it again. Pull up a little bit. Puff into this first spot. And 
and then the spot down here that we went through the last time and then the spot here between these two puffs that we have not went through yet finger there, grab your yarn, go through all the loops, go through that loop that your finger is holding, pull tight, grab that yarn, go through that first loop, yarn over, and go through the next two loops, like that. Now we got one more, and this last one is the hardest one to do of the row. So we'll go ahead and pull up and go through this first one and puff in it. Like that. And then we go into this spot down here that we already went through once. Go through it again. And then the last one is right here and this end stitch and it's the hardest one probably remember yours is going to be a lot longer than mine because i started mine shorter but when you get to the end you got to puff into this last stitch it's good to kind of loosen that knot up if you can but go ahead and puff into that one hard because the knot tight up on you. That's what I find hard about it. I'll loosen it up a bit. There we go. Okay, got it. <laughs> now we're going to put our finger there. Yarn over and go through all those loops. Go through that loop that was holding, your finger was holding. Pull tight. Go through that first yarn over and go through that first loop. And then yarn over and go through those two loops. And then you can pull that back tight again, your knot again. And that is what it looks like so far. Now we're going to start a row, the next row by chain in one and turn in. Now we start the beginning of every row with one single puff into this stitch. So let's go ahead and do one single puff. Every row gets started with one single puff. And then you still hold your yarn, go through like that. Go through the one that your finger's holding. Pull it tight. Yarn over and go through the first loop and yarn over and go through both loops. Now we're gonna start again with our three loops or three puffs on our hook. We're gonna work in this one, the eye right here, and then this one right here. So we'll start, pull up a little bit and puff right here at the top of this first one. Go down to this one right here, the next opening, puff, and then the next opening here, and puff. And we just do the same thing, finger there. Yarn over, go through all the loops, then go through the loop that your finger is holding, pull it nice and tight, go through that, yarn over, go through the first loop, and yarn over and go through both loops on your hook. Now we're going to start again, 
with this loop or this hole this hole and the next hole puff in the first one And this one down here. And then we pop on this one that we have not worked in yet. Put your finger here, yarn over, go through all the loops. Put your yarn through one that your finger was holding, pull it as tight as you can get it, yarn over, go th through that first loop, and yarn over and go through both loops on your hook, and you can see your stars starting to form. And they are going to have a teeny tiny hole, yes, but not much of one. Once you get it put together, mine didn't really have much of holes, and you don't want holes. Trust me, if you get big holes in like just a few of them because you didn't get it tight enough, it's just not going to look good. It takes a little practice to get it, but you can do it. I know you can. Puff back in this first one. Sometimes I lose track how many puffs I did there, or how many. And then back down in this one right here that we worked in before. And then this next hole here that we did not work in yet. Put your finger there, yarn over, go through all the loops. Put your hook there where your finger was holding, pull it nice and tight. Yarn over, go through that first loop, and yarn over and go through the rest of them. Like that. So you got two stars formed right here completely. This one's not quite formed. But you just want to repeat this to the end of the row. So we'll work in this one, this one, and this one until we get to the end. And then this one right here that we haven't worked in. Put your finger there, yarn over, go through all the loops on your hook. Go through the one that your finger is holding. Pull nice and tight. Yarn over and go through that first one. And then yarn over and go through all both of those. Again, I'll start again. I'll go in this one, this one, and this one. And I'll just keep repeating that until I get to the end of my row. Okay, I've made it here to where I'm going to be doing my last puff. So that's what it's starting to look like right, right there. So my last puff, I'm going to pull up and go into this first one. Puff in it. Puff on this next one down here that we previously worked in. And then the last puff, like I said, it's always hardest. It goes right here in this little spot on the end. I think it's the hardest. You might not find it hard. You might find it to be easy. This is awkward for me. Like that. Put your finger there. Yarn over. Go through all the loops. Go through that loop that your finger was holding. Pull tight. Yarn over and go through the first loop, and yarn over and go through both loops, like that. And that's what it starts to look like. Now we're going to chain one and turn, and we're going to start our next row by doing one puff, one single puff, right here in this eye of this end star. Remember, every row starts with one single puff. 
finger there like that grab that pull it tight go through go through both two now we just start again with another row of puffs pull up and go through the top of this puff we just made with the puff stitch and then we go right down here to this one and then the next one finger here, yarn over, go through all the loops, go through the one that your finger is holding, pull it tight, yarn over, go through the first one, and then yarn over and go through both on your hook, just like that. And now we're just going to keep repeating the row, back and forth, back and forth. So I'll start, and I'll puff here, here, and here, tie it off, and then I'll start puffing at the top of the star again. It's just three puffs in every row, just like I did. Just repeat the previous row that we just did all the way to the end. Chain one and turn. Start it off with one puff, and then you repeat it again. Back and forth, back and forth. And you want to do that till you get your pot holder as thick as you want it to be. Okay, I went ahead and did 11 total rows, and that is counting that very first row of puff stitches. So if we count that one, it was one, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and this was part of the, the last row but you can make it as big as you want or if you look you can see i did like here's a set of stars one two three four five sets so however you want to count it Okay, now I, I just ended up here at the top and I didn't tie off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work in this color around it with a row of single crochet. So I went ahead and I did my last star here. Now what I'm going to do is work it down. This starting to work down this side, I want to start with a chain of one. Now I'm going to work in the puff stitches. Now if you look, you can kind of see that the puff stitches kind of have what appears to be a little stitch there but sometimes you can't really find it but what I do it's not easy to see but kind of just grab those two little stitches in the middle of the puff stitch like that and I'm going to do two single crochets in that same stitch so there's one and two now I'm going to do one single crochet right there into that space the eye of the star like that now I'm at my next puff stitch so you just kind of got to look and if you look you'll see those two little stitches that I'm talking about and I'm going to do two single crochets into that spot and then one into the eye of the star like that and then I'm at my next puff. Uh, just kind of look here. If you can't find the the really the right stitches, just kind of grab a couple stitches that are in the middle of the puff if you can. Like that. And I'm going to do two single crochets through that stitch so there's one oops my yarn splitting and two and then two in the eye of the star or one in the eye of the star I'm sorry it's two in each puff and one in the eye of the star and then my next puff two one, two, and one in the eye of the star. 
two in the next puff. One. Two. And one in the eye of the star. Now I'm going to continue this down until I get to my first corner. Okay, I've made it down here to the end and I just put two single crochets in my last puff stitch and now I'm down here at the corner stitch and it's the eye of the star. What I'm going to do is put two single crochets into that eye and I'm going to chain two and I'm going to go into the eye again and put two more single crochets. So there's one and two. So that was two single crochets, a chain two into the eye of that last star and now I'm going to start working down the long side doing the same thing working two single crochets in the puff stitches and one in the eye of the star so one two and one in the eye of the star. One, two, and one in the eye of the star. And I'm going to do this all the way around. All the way down the long side and then when I get to this corner it's going to be two single crochets, a chain two, two single crochets. Then I'm going to work it all the way up until I get to this corner. So then it'll be two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets and then all the way across the top until I get back to the beginning. Working two single crochets in every puff, the side of every puff, and one in the eye until we get to the corners and the corners get two single crochet, chain two, and two single crochet all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it all the way back to the beginning. And I just did two single crochets in my last puff and then I have this star, the eye of the star of the last stitch. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and do our two single crochets, chain two, and two more single crochets in that same stitch. And then we're going to end with a slip stitch in our first single crochet. Not this chain one that we did, the first single crochet that we did over here on the side. So just go ahead and slip stitch into that and tie that off. Clip your yarn. And then you can hide that tail if you want. I'm going to go ahead and put a simple border around it now with white. So I'm going to take my white yarn and you can start it anywhere that you want. Um, probably just start kind of where we left off. I'm just going to start uh, right here along the side somewhere. Maybe in this same stitch here. So what I'm going to do is start my yarn by chaining one. And I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. And now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my first corner. My first where we did the two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet. And I'll do something a little bit different there. So I'm just working one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my first corner. Okay, I've made it down here to my chain two space. Now I single crocheted all the way up to the last stitch there. That last stitch before the chain two space, I'm going to do a half double crochet into it. Not a single, but a half. Now I'm going to be working in the chain two space and what I'm going to do is a double, one, two, three, four doubles in a row 
this is all into that chain space now I'm gonna do a picot on my fourth double so what I'm gonna do is chain three one two three and I'm gonna come back down into the top I like top of the same stitch I kind of like a lot of people would go into that first chain I like to kind of grab the side like that I think it makes the pico stand still firmer like that so now you got a little point on that last stitch now I'm gonna go still into the same chain two space and work three double crochets again so there's one two three and then in, pull this over into this very first stitch you don't want to miss it you want to pull this over and do a half double crochet like that and that is what I'm going to do on each of my corners so I'll go over it again I did a half double on the last stitch and then in the chain two space I did four doubles in a row and then I did a pico on the fourth one and then I did three more double crochets into the same chain space and then that next stitch after I did a half double and now I'm going to continue putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain two space and I'll meet you over there and we'll do that again and put that point on that on the on the next uh, corner okay I've made it to my other corner here's my chain two space here's the stitch right before it I'm not gonna single crochet into it I'm gonna put a half double crochet into that stitch now into the chain two space we're gonna do four double crochets there's one two three and four now on this fourth one we will put a pico so we'll go ahead and chain three one two three come back down and slip stitch right in the top of the stitch I grab this these two side stitches like that and then slip stitch that and that will form your little pico or your point now I'm still working in the same chain space I'm gonna do three more doubles one two and three and I'm gonna half double into that next stitch like that and then I'm gonna continue single crocheting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain two space for my next corner and then I'm going to do the same thing there so I'm just going to repeat this on all four corners I have two more to go I'm just putting single crochets in between them so I'll meet you when I get back around to my last corner Okay, I made it back around and I did my last corner here and I did a half double crochet in the next stitch and now I'm gonna single and so I make it actually just one single to where I started if you started in a different spot just single crochet to get up to your first single crochet that you did of the round slip stitch into it that and then tie that off clip your yarn now I'm going to hide all my tails real quick and then we will be finished here okay once you get all your tails hidden that's it that's all there is to it I hope you enjoy my tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check me out on Facebook where if you make this or anything else I'd really like to see a picture of it I'll put a link to that below in the description box and until next time, have a good day.